everybody, and welcome to Pies Across the Pond. And I'm here with two comedy historians. Firstly, we have Mr. Nick Santa Maria. He is our American branch. <laughs> Howdy, <laughs> duty, folks. Yes. Good. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Mr. Robert Ross, Britain's comedy historian. I should do my so- Benny Hill salute. Mm-hmm. And I'm what? matching it. Well, this is very exciting. So, um, so what's the plan? We're going to have a, a, a monthly, hopefully, mm, podcast mm-hmm. slash YouTube video. Or when our schedule schedule allows, depending on which yeah. side of the pond you are. Um, but yeah, Nick, so so first of all, let's let's find out who the real Nick Santa Maria is. Give me a little tracy of your of your <laughs> illustrious life and work. Uh, well, I, I actually, it's it's interesting. I figured this out not too long ago that next year on my birthday, March 31st, will be 50 years since I collected my first money in show business. Wow. I, I, amazing. 50 years. Uh, so I've been around the block. I've, I've done everything there is to do in show business except uh, uh, ballet. Um, I was in an opera festival. So I, I count opera. Um, and uh, I've just been someone who's loved uh, vintage comedy since I was, you know, knee high to a pie across the pond. <laughs> I I just love it. I love every aspect of it. And I'm hoping that this podcast will introduce to my American cousins uh, people from across the pond who have enriched my life a lot since I've learned about them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I've written a book, as you can see it over my shoulder here. It's the annotated Abbott and Costello with uh, Matthew Conium, who lives in Bath, England. And um, yeah, so that's me, really. No, but I think because when we first connected, and it was a long, long time, it should have happened years ago. I think we mm-hmm. were we we basically are um, long lost comedy brothers. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. From- and I, and I think my my sort of introduction to it was very similar to yours in, in just obsessed with the golden age of Hollywood but also from my point of view even more uh, importantly was was British comedy and and, and the sort of uh, the Will Hayes and George Formby's and Arthur Askey's and all that and and all that cross fertilization so so absolutely I'm hoping that you know my audience might get to know a bit more about I don't know the Rich Brothers or Wheeler and Woolsey. Is that thank you? See Shakespeare. Look at that. Wheeler and Woolsey. All those <laughs> guys. Um, Olsen and Johnson, who I love, and all that. So, mm. so, so we. So the idea is, I suppose, to to throw it out to our respective Audience. audiences, and and mm-hmm. and within the ni- the nicest possible way, tell us what to do. Right. Well, I think I think your first one. So what we're going to do is have sort of maybe a battle of the comedies. Okay, we can do um, that. And we'll have a look. Why don't we kick off with both your passion projects? Let's do Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Good film. Okay. Versus Carry On Screaming. That's also a good film. I like that. <laughs> Jill and Lou versus Kenneth Williams. Place, <laughs> place your bets now. <laughs> and, no, exactly. um, so here's the deal. So I'll be viewing Carrying On Screaming, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I'm going to give you my view on what I watched. Yeah. And you're going yeah. to do the same with Abbott and Costello and Frankenstein. Absolutely. And, yeah. and the twain shall meet during the podcast. Totally. Is that how we're doing this? That sounds, I, I that think sounds so. fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Thanks. of course, if people have got any other ideas of Please American send them. comedy versus British comedy, there'll be mm-hmm. links at the bottom, comment, subscribe. Not so much versus as more embraces, I think. That's that's yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's not so much a battle. <laughs> I'm not, know? I'm, not, I'm not going to try and knock you out with my Harry H. Corbett or something. <laughs> um, but no, I think I think you, you know, hit me in the I, eye with a Leslie exactly. Henson. I oh, know exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, my this George Rogie's loaded, I tell you. Anyway, <laughs> um, but. Mm-hmm.